you did mention that you're for the repeal of uh, Social Security and Medicare. But one of the lines that I have to say, you, in reading your policy positions, you kind of educated me on a little bit. You know, one of my favorite lines was always, Social Security is nothing more than a government-approved Ponzi scheme. But in reading one of your blog entries, you made the distinction, it is really not like a Ponzi scheme. And at first I said, what's wrong with Jacob? Was he smoking <laughs> something that day when he wrote that? I, you know, I would think that would be one of the things as an economics professor and as a libertarian that you would be. Uh, but very interesting. Briefly, tell me, why is Social Security not a Ponzi scheme? All right. Well, a Ponzi scheme is, is like it occurs in the investment world. Uh, a guy says, hey, I got this great investment. I'll pay you 40% return on it. Send me your money. So you send him a million dollars. And at the end of the first year, he owes you your 40% return. Uh, he's gone out and bought mansions and Cadillacs and BMWs and so forth. He doesn't have the money. So, but he's got new money coming in where he's promising to pay the 40%. And so he uses that new money to pay off the, the old guy, the first guy. And then uh, this, this system keeps going on and on until finally at the very end, it's like musical chairs, somebody, people say, uh, we're suspicious. We're not going to give you any money. And then the gig's up. Uh, it, it all fares out and whoever is caught holding the bag loses. Social security is not an investment. It's a welfare program. It's no different right. from food stamps or education grants or farm subsidies. Nobody invests in anything. They've taxed you. Uh, just like they tax everybody, and they use those taxes to fund this welfare program. So nobody's investing in anything. That's why I say it's not a Ponzi scheme, uh, that when a senior reaches retirement age or Social Security age, he is relying on the government to tax the younger people, his children and, their grand, and his grandchildren, and say, give their money to me. And therefore, it's not a Ponzi scheme. It's just, it's just a straight welfare program. But it's immoral. It's an immoral program. It's, it's like any other welfare state program or socialist program. I mean, this, this is the crown right. jewel of American socialism. I say it just needs to be repealed. Socialism has been the bane of mankind. This is one of the worst programs we could have ever adopted. Look what it's done to seniors. It's made them hopelessly dependent on the state. And it's created this mindset of, oh, my gosh, without socialism, we'd, there'd be people dying in the streets. It's nonsense. You could repeal Social Security today, which is what we should do, and everybody would be fine. You, you just have to restore in this country that faith and freedom. This country lived without Social Security and Medicare for more than 100 years. Nobody died in the streets, you know? Right, uh, right, right, right. Hey, everybody, this is Big John from Grumblings Media, and I just want to say thank you for watching our content. If you want to support our efforts here at Grumblings Media, just smash the subscribe button right here totally free, or just go ahead and consume more of our great content. Click either one of these two boxes.